Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV, and we're here with Big Merp to talk about diatomaceous earth. But what is diatomaceous earth? Well, to understand that, we must first explain what a diatom is. Diatoms are single-celled organisms with hard shells made from silica. That is silicon dioxide, the same compound as the mineral quartz, and the main component of sand. Diatoms are found all over the world in oceans, waterways, and even in soil. They are unique in their ability to metabolize silica and use it to create the exquisite geometric forms that characterize their shells. As diatoms die, their shells fall to the bottom of the bodies of water, forming thick layers. Some of these are fossilized and compressed into a soft sedimentary rock called diatomite. It can be easily crumbled into a fine powder, which we call diatomaceous earth. At first glance, it looks like any other fine white powder. But under a microscope, the fossilized silica shells emerge. The view we are looking at here is approximately one millimeter squared. Zooming even further using a scanning electron microscope, we start to see the intricate structure of these preserved fossilized cells. The tiny holes in these silica structures make them ideal for filtration of small particles and bacteria. German engineer Wilhelm Birkfeld developed a filter from diatomaceous earth that was deployed successfully during a cholera epidemic in Hamburg and has been widely used ever since. It can also be used for drinking water, pools, and fish tanks. Another early use of diatomaceous earth was in explosives. Alfred Nobel, yes, that Nobel, discovered that nitroglycerin was more stable for transport when absorbed in diatomite. This led Nobel to create dynamite. Diatomaceous earth also turns out to be a powerful insecticide. It damages the protective lipid layer on the exoskeletons of insects and other arthropods, causing them to dehydrate and die. The sharp edges of the silica fragments speed up the process. Now that's pretty harsh. One can find diatomaceous earth at home and garden stores for use as an outdoor insecticide for fruits and vegetables. But it is also sometimes used to deal with flea infestations. Note that it only kills the adult fleas and is not effective against eggs. It is not universally recommended to use against fleas indoors, but if you do choose to use it, only use so-called food-grade diatomaceous earth, not filter-grade, and only apply it in an empty space. Keep pets away from an area where it's applied and never put it directly on a pet's fur or skin. Also, be careful not to inhale it. Do you have any questions or thoughts about diatomaceous earth? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to Cat Synth TV.